Hello, I'm into my factory. Um, I have a nice job to do, and let's take a look on it. Shortly, customers' uh, tractor or garden tractor get kaput engine. He brings a new engine, and he says, "I need a custom it for uh, this engine." So um, this is. Uh, uh, gearbox cover and this is end of the crankshaft already make a part uh, this one what fits right here and I should to make a spacer in between this engine case and uh, this cover uh, Definitely I will build it from this piece of aluminium. I hope thickness will be enough, but I worry about that. So I have uh, two pieces of aluminium. What I should to cut in the pieces and uh, make a spacer. So this part. Later. Do first, think later. While well, metal saw is parting off my aluminium piece, I came to another workshop and I want to a little bit take care uh, on this piece of equipment and this has some issues. One of the issues is, uh, I hope you can notice, here is the scratches on the seating surface on this flange. Also here is something like that I noticed and of course it's uh, dirty. I'm almost done with this thing cleaning and uh, also I file and later uh, stone this surface. While I cleaned up these studs I find out they are actually in bad condition and I should to create new ones for this for gel chuck. Finally, and my self manager built a cheap fortress. This part is nearly crazy, and uh, it's hard to set in the machine wise jaws and I'm pretty much sure that this uh, part cannot fit in the this vice. So I should find a way how to bite and chew it to the regular forms for future machining. I put a bet on my oldest machine in my workshop in 1930s built Bernatsky, it's German and uh, well this is part it's nearly perfect yes 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 it's perfect Spinning! Yay! Okay, I'm gonna use this scary tool. Any Mad Max and scary movies can go home now. This is my setup. Uh, this piece is set on the eye because it's bent and curved and 
you know, uh, this took me around half a day just because I haven't any tool for this machine and uh, I'm picking up tools from other machines that I have in my workshop and I it's it's taking a time while everything is getting set up than ATC Retreating and then this small thing. And filing of course. Next setup complete. Repeat. Day has passed. Okay, um, so far I get it with this, and uh, it's fine. For to do all of this, I used uh, all of these tools. Nice fly cutter. So far I get, I get my brick, I pre-drill center, but it's still too, it have a less of the thickness. I need a, a thickness of uh, 67 millimeters, but this have only 52. Well, um, I should do something glue to this, it, and uh, what I find out, I take a sketch of uh, new motor, and I find out to uh, seat diameter maximum is 112 millimeters. So I need a piece of steel or something else, but I found a piece of steel already in this diameter, unknown grade, and it already have a pre-bore, something like that. Then I take part and I set in the jaws. Well, I don't like this setup. Jaws are too much out of the chalk. It can easily break the chalk and, 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 and slam in my face. I don't want this. This smells as one more for job side project. Nothing to do. I am in my scrap pit. And what we have over here, I have 300 15 millimeters for jaw, cheater one, but looks it is broken. Yep, and left over 400. I don't know condition of it, but I think I can try to set back into the life. Ah. It's a little rust, but it is fine. Here 
fifties. Nice and almost shiny. I repaired this. I put it back together and uh, before I switch this on the machine I want machine this and I want to make a ring, a spacer ring for this place. I make a picture of the part what I need for the spacing. Chunk of steel. Let's put in the chuck and let's see what we can do. Do you know this one? I want to find it out how it works. Insert is not good. It's making this type of chips. Blade is get worn off. I need to get warriors, boards and tapper treats in this piece. Uh, looks I need a rotary table. I see the rust. What a shame. Hmm. I need consumable spacer ring. It should to work. This ring is complete and looks to game time for fun with a four jaw chuck.
Okay. I can't use this magnetic base because this uh, rivets an ATC, you know. So, I have a wonder box and I have one more magnetic base and I will assemble it and use it for this action what I need. Piece is in the forjo. So much run out, around 500. I think it will be good enough. This part now is on the milling machine rotary table. I line up this side to machine table. Somehow it, it will be good enough. And let's take some drilling. I get it. Uh, this side should be mach machine after I mold this right here around like that. Screw it together. Slam in the T jaw and last what I will do is this this, this end gearbox business end. This is one of the last setups for this piece and I did this sure it's not good run out is around three or four hundreds but for this piece it will be good enough for better rigidity, stability and safety I had a live center. Finally, I finished it. Yes, it's done. Woohoo! Ah, this is an old motor that's a kaput. This is new motor. This is my crafted adapter or spacer for new motor. Uh, this is adapter for shaft, but I don't stick on the shaft because I it it don't came so easily. Okay, um, this is end of gearbox and these two sticks together and then it's all putting on here like that, you know. I'm happy when I finish this work. Actually, this work is overbuilt, it's over completed. Uh, so much uh, drawings I made only for crafting this thing. Actually, here is only three pieces: this one, this one, and this ring. It, but it takes several days for me, a uh, couple of machines to build it, and uh, what else? bunch of tools and two bunches and more of my experience for crafting. Also, good thing is that I uh, fix 
some of my equipment and so on. Uh, overall, it's fine. Okay, thank you very much. Good luck and have a nice day.